One man and one woman for 21 days. Do they have the skill and the will to overcome the most brutal survival challenge of their life? Queensland, Australia, home to the world's most unforgiving landscape. This blistered terrain is home to some of the world's deadliest animals, the eastern brown snake, an aggressive boar with razor-sharp tusks. Most feared of all is the world's deadliest reptile, the saltwater crocodile. Saltwater crocs, they put the fear in you. They're very legit, they're very aggressive. Ooh, wallaby. I'm already inspired by wallabies. I want power jumping thighs. <laughs> Time to get naked. I'm entering an environment that I have never been in before. I trust that the universe presented this to me. So good or bad, I know that whatever is gonna come out of this is in support of my highest good. Okay. I just wanna get naked. That's all. I wanna do this because I've been using tools and all this gear and, and everything for too long. This is all about me getting in touch with my primal instincts. Point of no return, time to get weird. Hi. You must be Sharonda from Tinder, I'm guessing, right? Is that the one? Hello, I'm Dan. I'm Maria. OK, you're much prettier than your uh, profile. On the... <laughs> when I first saw Maria, I thought that she looked like a beautiful native princess. Should we just, like, Take it in. Huh? You wanna give me a tour? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> Business time. Yeah. Business time. That is hot. Mind over searing hot ground. Ground gets hot. Some of this is actually like impassable. Oh. <sighs> oh, look at this. This is great. We've got this nice big limb of the paper bark, which seems like it could fit us nicely underneath and we could build um, sides around it. It's higher than the water, but it's close to it. Nature provides. My first impressions of my partner is uh, she seems resourceful and uh, she doesn't look at me like I'm a all the time for the jokes I make, so A plus. I'm thirsty. How you doing as far as Thirst. I can make a fire really quickly. We can boil water. Yeah, let's do it now. OK. Bone makes a great top piece, because it's not going to burn like uh, wood would. Not the most comfortable grip, but it works really well. But I'm going to go get some much needed water. Thanks. Is that water ready to drink? I think it's pretty hot still. I might like it hot. I'm gonna catch a couple of those fish tomorrow. Awesome. I don't and just have a little good hunting skills. I got very little sleep last night. After seeing that cross last night at a distance, I gotta have my wits about me, going down to get some water. I've got about, I think, 10. Rubs, we're gonna make a fine breakfast. I'm a, a vegetarian, I'm a Buddhist. I don't kill, I don't even kill mosquitoes. <laughs> but when you're in a survival situation, you do what you need to do. I need protein, I need to eat, I need to be able to function both for myself and for my team. And that's the mode I'm in. We've got grubs and grasshoppers. Good foraging. I love the fact that uh, I'm supposed to be the harvester and she scored us the first meal. That's great. As far as eating grubs and grasshoppers goes, uh, no big thing. But uh, I know that there's fish here and there's other proteins that I can obtain and I want to, uh, I need to get the ball rolling. There's a surprising amount of fish in here. Not so fast. <laughs> Up came a sleepy cod. 
kicked himself right on the bank. They got spines. I kind of fell in love right when I saw it, and I really want to keep it. Can we keep it? Can we please keep it? Please. <gasps> Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh, my God. Come on, get a free hand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I am so stoked that my incredibly talented, skillful partner has speared a big, fat fish for us on day two. On like Donkey Kong. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, guy who actually caught the fish. <laughs> I already thanked you. <laughs> We're doing really well. Yeah, we got stuff in here. Termites. Inoffensively delicious. Packed with protein. They're my new best friend. It's gonna take hours to get any kind of... But it's consistent, there's tons here. Yeah. This is great. Nature provides. I commend Maria on her patience, getting getting all out like that. But uh, I'd rather spend three hours figuring out a way to get them in 15 minutes than spend three hours just getting them. Dan is the hunter. I'm not a hunter, but I'm very creative, and I'm definitely motivated to do what I can to secure more food. <sighs> ah. I am cutting out bits of my hair and folding them in half and doing a quick reverse wrap. And this makes it much stronger and much easier to work with. And these are the threads that I'm using to make my fishnet. But I'm down to make the sacrifice. It's definitely going to take some time, but I think it's going to be an effort that's worth it. I'm not a fan of the tediousness. That's just me. I don't mind. See my potential yabby trap? All right. Yeah, it's a good one. I found a hollowed log on the bank. Let me get it to where these yabbies want to swim in here. I'm going to block off either end of this. And I took a cocoon or nest or whatever full of green ants. I shoved them in there for bait. They're biting the living <laughs> out of me. Ow! The pressure's on, but uh, it's all about efficiency, and it's all about uh, positivity. I hope I can get some food for us. I really hope I can. Where did he go? What happened this morning? Not a lot. See him getting frustrated, not being able to do the things that you know you can do. That takes it out of a person. Feeling uh, a little discouraged with uh, with the harvesting I've done. Just getting getting the Australian beat down. And stepping through deeper, shadowy areas where I can't quite see. Coming face to face with a crocodile, that would be uh, horrifying. This is my fishing net. If we could get a bunch of protein today, that'll just put us in such great shape. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, went Where'd right go? through that hole right no! there. No! I got one! All right. He's tiny, but he's protein. Ooh, here's a frog. That was a fat one. My opinion on this is that it's not worth the energy expenditure right now. It's getting us fish. Not enough fish. Dan's approach is all or nothing. That's absolutely not my approach. Dude. Look at you. Small amounts of food consistently, that's going to do a lot for us, and that's much more realistic. Yum, yum, yum. Then all or nothing. I thoroughly enjoy being the provider. I like bringing the meat to the table, and uh, I like doing my part. But I feel like she is providing more than I am. That's uh, that's pretty frustrating. So I need to kill a pig. 
I'm just gonna dig a hole big enough for a piglet to fall into and not be able to get out. Getting a pig would be amazing, and I would certainly happily trade a bunch of small fish for something much bigger, but that takes a lot, uh, and there's no guarantee. It's kind of a last ditch effort. Even if I burn myself out and I gotta tap out, I'd rather die trying. I've got dinner for us. Got Look ten, at that. 10 fishies. 10 of them? That's a good gig. And they just all came right into that bark thing. Job. It's all going according to plan. Just have to sit there. I doubted that method, you know? I, I doubted that it would uh, produce like it did. I mean, I don't got the patience for that, you know? Nature provides. True. Well, here I am at my uh, Piggly Wiggly trap, morning after I set it. Nothing. Sal and six piglets they came into the camp. I was real close to them, almost got the dive on one, but uh, not quite though. Maybe one of those dumb piglets might have went and checked out my pitfall, stumbled in there. No dice. I'm hungry as I've ever been in my entire life. Everything I think about is food. Every thought that I have, every smell that I smell, smells like something I want to eat. OK. The week. I hope I'm not hungry like this again. It's hard to remember things when you, uh, when your brain doesn't, doesn't have proper nutrition to, to function. You just, I mean, every hunt that I come up empty-handed, I fall behind in the, in my caloric intake. See how that the ripples were long. Every time you get close to the water here, about level ten alert. I can feel the weakness in my body. I'd love it if today was day twenty, <laughs> but it's day nineteen. <laughs> Redemption! Got myself a prawny prawn. Oh my god! Ugh. Oh my god, there's so much meat in there. Oh. oh! I knew you were gonna get them. Me too. As a harvester, as a provider, this makes me so happy. It does so much more for me than than uh, than just the protein that I get to walk out of here. It. it it fills my soul. Oh my God, he's so beautiful. Oh. I have definitely struggled at times with communication styles and our unique stubbornnesses, but it all comes back to the fact that we really care about each other and we want to support each other. And that's what it takes to get through something like this. Pretty good. Way to provide. Smells funny over here. <gasps> oh! That's the third dead crocodile we have found. It's a safe assumption that there's a saltwater crocodile moving through here. This wasn't here yesterday. Could have been last night. Hopefully it's gonna leave us alone for extraction. It is afternoon, day 20, last night out here. Tonight it's really about getting as hydrated as we can for tomorrow. Yay! There's gonna be 
snakes. And then of course we haven't explored up here, you know, there's a good chance that that big saltwater crocodile lives up here. It's gonna be hard and it's gonna really suck. Think there's crocodiles in there? Yeah, definitely. They're good at hiding. Going this way, right? I thought we were gonna go this way. How come? Because this isn't a very good trail at all. We're gonna be in the sun on that side. If we walk on this side, we're gonna have the benefit of shade. Look at this. This is fine to travel. Let's just walk. We're wasting okay. time. There you go. We're not going back from here. You've just got that fire in your eye that I can't even begin to say anything to. Dan, you're killing me. I love you and you're killing me. I don't wanna waste time. I wanna keep pushing. The ground is getting hot. We're losing our shade, and we don't know how far we have to go. I'm running out of steam. I think I just need to rest. I feel sick right now. It's really stunning how quickly you get dehydrated. I'm getting anxious because the sun's getting higher, and we're getting closer to that point in which we can't continue. We humans really need our water. Oh, I see a body of water. I have a feeling we're getting close to that magic X. Oh, God. This is it. We are here. I don't have anything left. Look over there. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! I think Maria's the strongest girl I've ever met. I think she's so intelligent. I couldn't have had a better partner. Yeah! I really learned I'm not the man without my gear, you know? But I also learned it doesn't matter what's in front of me, I will succeed no matter what. For me choosing to do this, it was totally a leap of faith, trusting in something bigger. I now know that I can survive no matter what. My needs will be met. I can count on myself.